Welcome to another video of how does my electric car work and today we're going to be talking does charging your electric car to 100% or draining it to 0% do any damage to the battery? We'll be going into all the myths, all the information and actual facts about how battery chemistry works in EVs. Now we're going to be talking about some complicated terms and complicated things to do with batteries and because of this I will try and explain it in as much detail as I can that simplifies it and makes it understandable by as many people as possible. But bear in mind that I do have to kind of explain what these complicated things are because otherwise it won't make too much sense to everyone else. Now first of all, all manufacturers, BMW, Tesla, Renault, Porsche, they all deal with batteries in a different manner. But all EV batteries, all electric cars, have a thing on them called a BMS, which is Battery Management System. The BMS is in charge of looking after that battery. So its main jobs are make sure it doesn't charge past 100%, make sure it doesn't charge below 0%, and basically keep it you know, in a good state. And also it monitors how fast it charges. That's where you get ramped down on charges. On rapid charges, it starts to ramp down the speed. And that's the BMS saying, the battery can't handle too much, the battery needs to slow down so we can fit the rest of the electrons in and it controls all that system. Now we can go into more in how slow charging slows down on EVs in another episode on, on, on this but just wanted to get the basic premises of what BMS means because I'm going to be referring battery management system as BMS for the rest of this video. So let's start talking about the BMS and batteries. Now, let's pretend all the batteries we're talking about today are 100 kilowatt hours in size. So they all contain 100 kilowatt hours of energy in those batteries, regardless of it being a Renault, which obviously don't make a battery that big, Nissan, Tesla, BMW, etc., etc. Let's all just pretend they've got a nice big 100 kilowatt battery because we can refer to 100 kilowatts as 100% of the battery and zero kilowatts of the battery as 0% of the battery. And it'll just make life a lot easier for explaining this demonstration. Now just very quickly before I get into any more of the video, just go and click that subscribe button down there and click that notification bell down below and that'll notify you every time I make a new video which is every single week. I make videos about electric cars, be it complex stuff, reviews, basically a whole host of EV stuff. So if you're interested in electric cars and learning more about electric cars, then go and click this that subscribe button down below. Now, charging your car to 100% does do damage. Lithium batteries do not like being charged to 100%, full stop. And they don't like going past 100%. Now what I mean by that is, when it gets to 100%, the BMS system will automatically stop the car from charging. And we don't want to get to 100% or try and force more electrons in when it is at 100% because that will do unreversible damage to the battery. Now charging to 100% keeping at 100% can also do damage to the battery but far less than going beyond 100%. And then we also have the bottom of the battery, 0%. Now it, it would surprise you that you can actually get below 0%. That means that the voltage in the battery drops below what its true zero percent is. And this, again, does unbelievable damage to the battery and unrepairable damage to the battery. You can't, re it's not repairable damage, it causes great problems. So below zero percent will cause massive damage to the battery and 100% or above causes uh, dendrolites to grow on the battery, which also causes battery damage. Now, if you're interested in learning more about battery chemistry, battery damage, then please check out my friend Ewan McTuck, which is Plug Life Television, who has helped me research part of this video and is the main contributor to most of this research because he's already done a, back, a video on exactly this subject. So if you're interested in clear facts, really good research scientific information, there's his channel links at the top right of my video. Just click that and go and visit Ewan's channel. He's an extremely knowledgeable bloke. He's actually Dr. Ewan McTurk and he is extremely, extremely, extremely clever bloke. Now obviously because charging to 100% does do damage to the battery, obviously manufacturers have pre-thought about this. And what manufacturers do is they ensure that you don't charge to 100%. And they do this by locking out the top proportion of your battery. They also lock out the bottom proportion of your battery and they use it, do this by the BMS system. So the BMS system locks out some of this 100 kilowatt battery, this theoretical fake battery, our battery we're talking about. Now, 
I've got a list of what each manufacturer does. Each manufacturer treats the locking down of the battery slightly different. So if we look here, the, uh, where we go, Tesla. So for Tesla, for example, they found it. So Tesla use 96% of its total capacity of the battery. So out of that 100 kilowatt battery, they're only actually using 96 kilowatts of that entire battery. Renault use 92% of, of that entire battery, so 92 kilowatt hours of that 100 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, Nissan uh, obviously haven't got thermal management systems, so they try and protect a little bit more of their battery because obviously they're not managing their battery in a thermally managed way, which we can go into in another video sometime, but they lock out 90% of the battery. So in a 100 kilowatt battery, they're only using 90 kilowatt hours. Like I said, none of these companies have batteries that big. Um, Audi, for example, Audi lock out 91% uh, of the battery. So out of a 100 kilowatt battery, they're only using 91 uh, kilowatt hours. And Porsche, the Porsche Taycan, Porsche Taycan has a lockout of 89%. So they're only using 89 kilowatts out of 100 kilowatts. Now they do this for another reason, which I can quickly explain without going into another video. And that is as batteries get fuller, they get harder to fill up with electric charge. They, they slow down the charge rate. So by locking out more of the battery at the top end, they're able to maintain a higher throughput of electricity and maintain a higher charge rate because they're not using the whole bit, the, the whole lot over the battery. They're bricking most of it out and they're bricking more of it out on the top end so they can ensure that they can charge at quicker rates, faster rates for longer sustained periods of time. Now, if we just imagine here at the bottom, a big battery. So we've got a battery here that's 100 kilowatts. Now what Renault, Nissan, Tesla, what they all do is they have this 100 kilowatt battery, no, it's over here, 100% over here, and they chop a little bit off the zero and a little bit off the top. And what this means is when your car is showing 100% charge, you're not 100%, you're actually only about here on the charge. So around about, call it 90, 96% on a Tesla, probably about 94% on a Renault Zoe or something like that. Now, the 0%, when we drain down to zero, we're also reserving a little bit of chunk of the battery. So usually around about two, 3%, 4% of the battery at the bottom is also reserved. And what this allows is the BMS on your car will lie to you and say, you're 100% charged when you're not, and you're 0% charged when you're not. And this protects the bottom half and the top half of the battery. Now, Tesla do allow you to drain into much more of the 100%, um, true 100%, and much more into the true 0%, which is why Tesla owners are often told, don't charge your car to 100% regularly. And Renault, Nissan, BMW dealers don't tell you any of that because they're locking out much more of the battery because they want to ensure longer longevity of the battery and warranty periods and less claims for them, where Tesla owners are told, don't charge your car to 100% all the time, it'll do damage. And in some respects, maybe that's Tesla trying to pass on uh, a little bit of responsibility to the owners or giving owners more flexibility. Some people might claim allows them to use more of their actual battery rather than being told by a manufacturer what they can use. Personally, I prefer the uh, mainstream manufacturer's approach of locking out uh, more of the battery to protect the battery for long periods of time because at the end of the day, eventually these cars will be going to come more mainstream. More mainstream people will just plug the car in and just charge to 100%. They won't listen to what people have been told. They won't read the instruction books. They won't buy off knowledgeable dealers. They'll just charge the car. So hopefully Tesla will start locking out more of the battery as they become more mainstream and follow the pursuit of more manufacturers like Audi, BMW, Renault, etc. Now I did just say to you that draining to beyond 0% can damage your battery. And what I mean by beyond zero is if you leave your, if you drain your car to 0% and leave it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, if you leave it at 0% without plugging it in, you will do irreversible damage to your battery. Do not leave your car at 0% for long periods of time. This will do serious damage to your car. It's the only way you can truly damage an electric car battery is draining it down to zero by doing loads of miles and then just not plugging it in. That will do irrevertible damage. So yes, draining your car to 0% will do irrevertible damage if left there for a sustained amount of time. Now, if you just drive it down to zero 
and then plug it in no that's fine it's not a true zero and you're plugging it in straight away absolutely fine so if you're doing a, a trip of 142 miles and you've got 142 mile range and you get there with zero percent you're fine it's not a true zero you're plugging it in straight away it's fine but if you train it down to that zero percent and you're going on holiday and you're leaving it in a car park at zero percent five percent very low state of charge then you will cause irrevertible damage to your car now what happens if you charge your car to hundred percent does that do damage now what i did is i rang ewan mcturk Dr. Ewan McTurk and asked him for some advice and he gave me the advice and I recorded this part of the video and then sent it in and he told me I got it all wrong. So then he sent me a load of notes which we're going to go through on all the bits that I got wrong. Now first of all, dendrites can grow on a battery when the car is charged too fast to a high percentage. So when you're charging a battery, if it charges too fast, stuff called dendrites grow on the battery and these can cause damage to the battery permanent damage to the battery and it's not good to charge your car extremely fast to 100 percent which is why we have bms systems that try and manage this obviously if you only charge your car slow with slow charging it's more likely to result in better long-term health for the battery but to be honest i won't worry about it too much there's a taxi in america in a tesla taxi that's only ever supercharged always to 100 percent always right down to the bottom and it's done amazing amount of miles so the batteries are very more resistant than we like to believe but there is some best practices now i went asked you and i said if you charge the car to 100 percent for example, let's say a Tesla, which is a true uh, state of charge, is of 97. So if you're charging to 100%, Tesla lock out the top half of the battery, as we were saying before, which is 97%. So a very, very high state of charge. Will that do damage to the battery? And Ewan's answer was, uh, got to check the notes. Don't want to get this wrong again, Ewan. It says here, uh, ooh, where are we? Charging to 100% and leaving it there can degrade the electrolytes against the cathode, causing loss of capacity. So basically, it does damage to the uh, electrolytes in the battery and means that the positive part of the battery uh, it basically gets damaged. So it's not good to leave it at that state of charge. Now, like he, he also commented that basically, if you're just charging the car to 100%, 97%, and then driving it pretty much straight away, it's not that bad because you're not holding at that high state of charge. And stuff like the Renault Zoe, the BMW, it's a lot less than the 97% true state of charge that Tesla use. But if you're using the car pretty much straight away, it's not bad. Also, there is some small losses on all these electric cars when they are left for a period of time. They will have a little bit of phantom draining, a little bit of power will be lost just naturally through the battery. Um, th then, you know, it just happens. It just loses a little bit of charge over time. Now, Ewan did say, however, if you are planning on leaving the car while you're going on holiday for a long period of time, two weeks, three weeks, a month, he recommends charging the car to 80% and leaving it at 80%. So no matter what EV you've got, Ewan's recommendation is charged to about 80% and that's the best storage, sort of storage charge that you should leave in the battery. It's not too high that's gonna cause damage to the electrolytes. It's not too low that you're gonna go beyond 0%, which is obviously a lot, lot worse, but it's at that state of charge that's just high enough and just just sort of in the Goldilocks sort of stage for a battery. But in all realistic, if you're just gonna leave your car two, three days, 100% charge isn't that bad. It's gonna naturally lose some anyway. But if Dr. Ewan, I always like to follow exactly what he says, and he says, storing at large periods down 80%. Uh, what else did he put? Uh, that's it. So thank you very much for watching this week's video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please go and click subscribe down to me at the bottom. Check out Ewan's channel, which is absolutely fascinating and check out some of my other videos here thank you very much and i can't believe i got dendrites right this time thank you very much see you next week goodbye dendrolites dendrolite called dendrolites